At Google DeepMind, we've always loved games. Go, chess, even video games like Atari. Playing any game well is about assessing your environment, planning your next move. AI versus AI is the biggest battle that is happening in recent times. This time, the rivals are two giants in the tech industry, Google and OpenAI. Today's question to ponder is why Google's DeepMind will dominate chat GPT. Artificial intelligence has attracted a lot of interest, especially after the introduction of OpenAI's chat GPT. The project's creator, Sam Altman, estimates that it costs roughly $100 million to create the AI bot. Did you enjoy the services provided by OpenAI's chat GPT? When we think of chatbot, the first name that we could utter is ChatGPT only. Microsoft's extensive data center infrastructure to support OpenAI's huge language models has so far been outpacing competitors in the AI race. However, given the periodic development of a new and potent AI models, ChatGPT's dominance might not persist internally. Who is the next in town? After OpenAI's dominance in the AI chatbot scenario, tech giant Google has been coming up with innovations on the same. The Gemini is the result. The new Gemini project at Google will debut its newest artificial intelligence model as early as possible. The business chose Gemini to power its Bard AI chatbot and business tools including Google Docs and Slides. Additionally, Google charges developers to use its Google Cloud server rental division to gain access to the Gemini AI software. This actually will directly compete with Microsoft and its Office 365 AI interface. But why do we assume Gemini is going to be a top rival for ChatGPT? Well, we have a couple of relevant reasons to share. Let us start with the main one. The wealth of resources Google has at its disposal, particularly data that can be used to train these AI models, makes Gemini a fierce rival. Google has access to scholarly content via the Internet Archive, Google Books, YouTube, and a sizable search engine. Since Google owns a large portion of this data, it may be able to develop models that are more sophisticated than those of competitors. In addition to that, Gemini is reportedly the first multi-model model that, in contrast to GPT-4, can handle both text and video. Okay, so in terms of the wide variety of information, Google DeepMind's Gemini has a point. Moreover, Google has a big talent pool and decades of experience in creating and refining flawless language models. The new Gemini-powered chatbot or modification to the Bard chatbot will show us that, which would probably be the primary method of business client to access Gemini, could be significantly impacted by this. Now, we need to go through the roots of Google's new AI venture. Are the roots strong enough? Gemini, a chatbot that competes with ChatGPT, was created by DeepMind utilizing methods of AlphaGo, the AI system that was the first to take down a skilled human player in the board game Go. This AI system defeated a human champion in Go game in 2016. The efficiency of AlphaGo itself is giving us a strong gut feeling that Gemini is going to be a blast. In a game board of Go, there are many strategic moves possible. With the help of reinforcement learning, artificial intelligence was able to transform its data. This transformation is from raw data to a proper, well-constructed decision. Predicting and planning becomes a piece of cake for AlphaGo. The game of Go is an old age game, but robots always fail to create enough board configuration. Because as you might already know, there are more such complex configuration than a total atoms present in this universe. Did you get the complexity now? Something notable that AlphaGo used to tackle this game was tree search. GPT has used a similar thing, called the Tree of Thoughts, for easy reasoning and this gives them 400% efficiency too. It was basically a ranking of all possible solutions to find the most appropriate one. The main difference between the two methods is the tree search is bigger and more detailed. AlphaGo uses neural networks, similar to human brain, to improve tree search. Now what makes Gemini superior? Multi-model. Not all AI models are multi-model in operation. Even though GPT-4 came on the scene, a large language model is simply LLM that functions flawlessly with text is what Google Gemini's AI model is. Its abilities are similar to GPT-4, the LLM who created the Jet GPT app. Gemini might be launched in the autumn of 2023, which could lead to further advancement in the field of medical science because Gemini could power medical AI chatbots and robots. If everything goes as planned, Gemini will be able to plan or solve problems in addition to analyzing content. Gemini, which was reportedly revealed at Google's I.O. Developers Conference in May 2023, is expected to utilize advancement in reinforcement learning to carry out tasks that current language models find challenging, according to DeepMind CEO Demis Hassabis. 
improvement in the field of language model have already been made as a result of reinforcement learning, which is crucial to how systems like ChatGPT react to commands. DeepMind is undoubtedly eager to bring its reinforcement learning expertise to the field of generative AI, given its amount of knowledge in the field. Do you guys want to know more about reinforcement learning and how it makes Gemini superior to ChatGPT? In order to teach an AI system which behavior to display in a specific setting, reinforcement learning entails rewarding an AI system for specific behaviors and punishing for undesirable ones. One method used by developer to train machine learning system is reinforcement learning. Hasabis is already so confident about this new AI tool. It's important to note that DeepMind has experimented with language models prior to Gemini. The business unveiled Sparrow in 2022. Sparrow was a chatbot that the lab stated was less likely to respond in a query in an unsafe or inappropriate manner as compared to other language models. It's unclear of the intentions to release Sparrow for a private beta at some point in 2023, as Hasab is told in January, are still on schedule. The competition of supremacy in the generative AI market is fueled by extreme customers and investors' excitement. Relevant research estimates that the market by generative AI, which includes text analyzing AI like Gemini, could expand by 35.6% by 2030. That means it could reach around $109.37 billion by 2023. In order to advance the situation, Google combined its main AI lab, Brain, with Hasabis DeepMind division to create Google DeepMind. According to Hasabis, the team is seeking to combine two titans that serve as the foundation of the modern AI advancement. If you take into account where AI stands at the moment, Hasabis claims that 80 or 90% of innovations originated from one or the other. In the last 10 years, both organizations have succeeded in doing some amazing things. Hasabis reportedly has extensive experience organizing and conducting AI gold rushes that have the potential to surprise the tech giants. However, the previous time, Hasabis might have created trouble. The GPT-4 language model has a sizable parameter count of between 1 trillion and 1.7 trillion. It swiftly provides answers to inquiries, prepare essays, and translate languages. However, ChatGPT is constrained in what it can and cannot perform. The multimodal intelligence network Gemini, on the opposing end of the spectrum, will be able to manage a variety of tasks, data-driven requirements, photo, audio, video, 3D models, and even graphs once it is set up. Gemini is a collection of model networks. Hence, it is able to handle many inquiries at once without being constrained. According to Google DeepMind CEO Demis Hasabis, their future algorithm will outperform ChatGPT. In reaction to this disclosure, which generates excitement, the AI community is looking forward to advancement in natural language processing and generation. There is a solid plan in front of the CEO of Google DeepMind. When finished, Gemini might dramatically strengthen Google's position as a leader in generative artificial intelligence technology. New AI ideas have been made possible by a number of strategies that Google has been developing. Google's own chatbot, Bard, has already been released, and it has incorporated generative AI into its search engine and other operations. Massive volumes of curated content must be fed into machine learning algorithms in order to strain a huge language model like Gemini. Due to DeepMind's extensive reinforcement learning expertise, Gemini may have novel capabilities. Determining the word and letter sequences that will come after a passage of text is a crucial part of the training process. DeepMind is also investigating the potential to incorporate concepts from several branches of artificial intelligence into Gemini. Anyways, Google's Gemini is expected to be released on December 2023. Let us hope for the best. Comment down your gut feeling. And why not like this video and support us for more video. See you next time. Goodbye.